Do people have hope here? People have more than hope. Uh, you, you, you couldn't survive it if you didn't have hope. And that's a fact. Without hope, seeing the gunshots, the violence, the rainy days that go for 25 days straight, without hope you wouldn't be able to survive. This is Vidigal, Rio de Janeiro's most iconic favela with million dollar views to die for. Sadly, dying is also a part of life here as a result of gang violence and drug wars. Very limited resources, poorly built houses and everyday hardship are integral parts of life. Favela life will never be glamorous, but it also might not be as dark and gloomy as most people think. Henry and Digal live in Vidigal and today they are giving us an intimate look into what it means to live in a favela. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. And this is how the day starts. No filming. <laughs> Very early, four o'clock. Good night, good night. <laughs> we got, what's your name? My name? My name is Rodrigo Digão Lima. Huh? Oh, obrigado. This guy drove better than you. I, I felt I more safe. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was so early that the devil still hadn't put his shoes on. But Henry and Digao promised us that a steep hike to the top of the Two Brother Mountain would be worth it. Yes, the hike was tough, but it felt like Sweetie's massage once we arrived to this stunning view. Hiking Rio de Janeiro's most iconic mountain is nothing short of a bucket list experience. Good morning from the top of Rio. Henry. Hey man. You're the best guide in not only Vidigal, but also Rosinha, right? You are actually American. I'm a gringo. You're a gringo? Yes. How do, how do you end up living in a favela? I got lost, actually. Coming from Leblon, I wanted to go to São Conrado on the other side. I came here near Meyer and I got out and I said, what is this place? And I started to walk up and I was like, well, this is so cool. I must kind of meet here more and get to know this place. And then it became my home. There's plenty of bad to talk about, right? But we don't need to talk about just the bad. We want to bring a beautiful light of how the city is we wanna sh and, and the favela. And you know, what, what the integration of this community is, like what it provides to the city down below. What, yeah. like it's not just favela, you know? The people who are on the beach in the hotel, who are in the restaurants, I mean, you know, 30% of the city lives in communities. Most people are just honest, normal, working people. And the media doesn't really share that. We have a population of 30,000, 33,000 people here. You wouldn't even pass maybe 100 drug dealers. Granted, that's a lot, yeah. <laughs> but 30,000 people, you do the math. Hey there, don't slip and fall. I need no. your cooking skills. Ha! We're gonna go walk this entire community to community today. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of walking. <laughs> and we have our second guide, Digão Lima. Digão Lima! A boa música. Isso é a vida. Eu tô vivo. Eu tô aqui agora. Motivo de felicidade, alegria. Speaking of love and happiness, allow us 74 seconds to explain why we are so proud to announce the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. It's not only in the bed you should use protection. It's also in the couch, your car and hotel room. We're of course talking about a VPN. Surfshack VPN keeps you safe from evil internet gangsters. The kind of people who steal your credit card info and personal details. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. With Surfshark, you become invisible on the internet. That means you can access all Netflix content from the entire planet. No creepy ads for stuff you and your friends just talked about. Also, no government or internet provider will know your internet activity. If you think it makes sense to lock the door to your house, so will having Surfshark installed. Connect unlimited devices for only $249 a month. That's 83% off, including three months free. With glowing five-star <laughs> reviews and a 30-day money-back guarantee, it really is a no-brainer. So this is uh, Rosinha, the biggest favela in South America. It's overwhelming to look at it and just notice that every single house 
houses a family and people who all have their own story. Que favela é melhor? Virigal ou Rocinha? Todas são iguais. So this house is for sale here, but who who would buy a house like this? Uh, okay. Residents. It won't be a gringo who will buy a house like this. It won't be a foreigner or a tourist. This would be a resident who would buy this house. How much would the house like this be? It could be anywhere from 100,000, depending on if it's the two levels. And we're going into Henry's house now. <laughs> this is Henry's dog, Pooh like Edgar Allan Poe. And this is his wife and mother-in-law. They cook magic. This is as local as it gets. Yes. Welcome to our house. Wow. Hey, are you my? Stay in casa today. And how do you live? How do you live? The food here tastes even better than it looks. And uh, yes. Yes, that's, um, I mean, I, can we come? Tomorrow again? Yeah, I'll even do the day. I'll even even do the hike every morning. A comida foi un sueño. 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 Now we're actually going to be walking around the community. So let's go to Sichu, which is the ecological park. So how does the favela get water? Beforehand, a lot of them came from natural springs. Uh, Pus was like this place here which were basically uh, systems that were either created or were in place from the favela. And uh, from there, basically people would start to go to all these places and get water with buckets, with gallons. And now we have this. Every, everywhere you go, you have this. You can see that it's glued here, but when they don't glue it and they create a new line to their house, they might bury it. They might put it underneath some concrete. So when this comes undone and it starts to leak, and leak more and leaks more and leaks more. Well, what happens is the soil and the dirt becomes very loose. And then we have mudslides. <coughs> really? This happens all too often. Electricity has also been free for a long time as it's unofficially hooked up to the city's network. However, this is slowly changing with meters being added to each favela household. So we are in this part of the community that has been built up as an ecological park. It's the people from the community that went together to actually establish this that used to be a dump. So they recycled all of these things like the tires from the cars and all the rims from the bicycles and the toilets as flower pots. I did not expect to see a, a, a garden or a park here. Tem uma canal no YouTube, né? E aí galera, tem um canal no YouTube, é Digão Lima Vidigal, segue lá. O melhor YouTuber no Vidigal. Ah, <risos> eu, eu estou começando, está em processo. Breve, breve será o melhor. Come on, you can film. So whose house is this? We're like passing in the yeah, middle. Yeah, only one ah. right? Just, just. Shh, shh, shh. Worst thing is when it starts raining. Actually, this is an area is called uh, uh, the Berlin Wall because there's the police station below here and the other guys are up here. Uh. So there was a constant exchange of gunfire and battling. Do a lot of people die during these fights? Absolutely. This is one of the most violent and deadly spots for someone to be, especially if you are a drug, a drug dealer. You know, you have to be very careful because here it's not something that. You know, you're right next to the police. This was a constant up and down exchanging of gunfire. This would be like Syria. But why, right now... It's I watch from my house. Like I'm watching an actual war movie. <laughs> watching guys running back and forth on the ground here, crawling like a military. The police running up and down the street. 50 calibers, launching grenades to the bottom, throwing to the top. And just thinking to myself, Will I be able to be free today, go out? Do you know people that have... Yeah, I mean, it, it's not about knowing somebody even, so it's... it's but you've seen people die here. Seen people die, I know people who have died, but... You know, uh, if you're a drug dealer, you're a drug dealer, you're doing something illegal, but you're still a son. The heartbreak of a mother, you know? It, it, it's emotionally taxing, it, it wears on you, because death is not like... You can say to somebody, I want to him to die, I want to see him die, you know, but when you actually see death, it's completely different. We are in the middle of the favela now. Some places we can film, some places we can't film. <laughs> it's the, the, the lords that control everything. Yeah, but they don't, they don't make an effort to 
try for example like having people cleaning the streets and stuff oh because it's not their job but they don't care about that they don't won't they I wouldn't, win more I wouldn't points say it's, I would, uh, you know, but how much brownie points can you get for keeping the street clean, especially when people don't even care? I mean, who, who litters here? It's the residents, it's the people who live here. They watch YouTube here. I think one of the things that is most overwhelming is, is the smell here. It is a never-ending cycle of poop and pee. Um, and it's partially because of the stray animals that we have here too. Watch out. Yeah. It's a it's a war zone of poop. Wow. Yeah, it's your house. Ore, ore. Do you think it's like a sua mulher? No, aqui tô vou viver sozinho. With the help of Henry, Digao is renovating his house. We later found out that his ex-girlfriend lives in the same house, but that they had made a wall dividing it into two separate units. If it wasn't for the favela, it would be big millionaire houses everywhere. So, yeah, the location here is prime. A porta está fechado. This is where the hardest access is the community. If you're going to move, if you're going to come home after work, I mean, just the workout, like you work all day, eight hours, and then you got to go up a, a Mount Everest. I had one time helped a buddy of mine all the way from where I live, bring in a king size bed above where I live, all the way over here to this other side of the house. It took us like two and a half hours because we didn't want to step on, we didn't want to rest in dog poop. What is the worst part of favela life? Rain and the violence, violence and then rain. Oh, he just said, terrible. Because, like, just look at the infrastructure of our houses. Like, who has a right roof? Who has drainage on any... No, there's no drainage. There's no drains on their houses. So it rains inside the houses? It might not rain inside, but it rains and then it gets moldy and, you know, wet and humid and your clothes get wet and your TV gets wet and you feel like you're sleeping on a bed that is wet. <laughs> And if you don't want to go this way, I can take you around. No, it's fine. It's just I, I get vertigo very easily. Okay, so hold yourself up. Don't look. Give me your camera. Be careful. Slow. Whew. There we go. Normally I'm not nervous, but now he made me nervous. No, you're okay, you're okay. I'm nervous, you're fine. You're good. You're totally good. That's very easy. <laughs> Henry explained that this stuff likely was thrown on the street due to a cheating wife or husband. So what's the best thing besides the view? Yeah, so the view is obviously the best thing. But honestly, the sense of community. There's this camaraderie where you can say, hey guy, I'm, I'm struggling right now. I don't have a lot of money. I need some help. And we help each other out. And that's this community aspect. It's that chaos that you see every day mixed in with that sunrise with beautiful people happiness, people in horrible situations, but yet they can smile and they can find their peace and their happiness. I mean, that's amazing. Do people have hope here? People have more than hope. Uh, you, you couldn't survive it if you didn't have hope. And that's a fact. Without hope, seeing the gunshots, the violence, the rainy days that go for 25 days straight, Without hope, you wouldn't be able to survive. You guys just told us that in this spot, a guy was shot from his head and fell down and died right on that spot. Raw sewage just running through the... Yeah, well, it's not supposed to happen, no. But so something leaking. Yeah, it's leaking from, from up here, you'll see. So now we are in the most richest, the rich, or the second richest area come down here. This is called Hua Tres, Road 3. Mm -hmm. And uh, here, the reason why it's so expensive, per se, is because they have a full street with access garages, infrastructure, they pay for electric, they pay for water. Okay. Yes, they pay uh, condominium fees. So here you can go to a bank and you can say, I want to put my house on a loan. Give me a loan, 100,000 reais, and you have the deed to my house, the title to my house, and okay. the bank will do. Minha comunidade. É lindo. Mi community of Vidigal. What is this car? Is she standing here forever or yeah, what? Yeah, so they have a project that takes the cars away that are broken, but they only do like three to five cars a month. Ah, really? <laughs> yeah. 
So we have way more than three or five cars. Exploring with Igal with Henry and Tikao had given us a valuable insight to what life here is really like. It's a parallel to the world that we know, yet these are the same people. People who go to bars, restaurants, the barber and the hair salon. People with jobs, projects and goals in life. Vidigal is a very special place with a way of life we have never seen before. Parts of us found it charming and sincere, but at the same time terrifying. The comforting amenities of our lives with always running water, electricity, advanced sewage and housing of high quality have become a given. It's something we take for granted. In Vidigal, nothing is taken for granted. And that's why it's so admirable how these people get on with their lives every single day. In Vidigal, hopes and dreams and a better tomorrow are the fuel of the mind. Cheers. Cheers. How often uh, do you do barbecue here? <laughs> it's at least several times a week. Right now, as you can see, this chaotic mess, we don't have, you know, everything set up. There's not even ceramic. Here's the ceramic right behind you. But, but uh, it's gonna be great. I, it's already is great. I mean, look at, look at the view here. It's spectacular. Oh, ice cold. So we're back here having lunch in the best restaurant in Midigal. Cachorro! Oi! Oh, but then. Hola. 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 <laughs> now we say goodbye to the view here. But also a goodbye to Henry and our friend Obadan who came to say hello. Obrigado mais uma vez. A comida é muito 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 bom. Sem dois dois dois. So we just walked through um, where all the truck dealers are. Young people like I don't know 16 would be standing with uh, M4. There were M16s, like fully loaded rifles. The violence here is, you see, the backbone of it. This is like an ex-war zone walking here. It's crazy. Well, not necessarily ex-war zone. <laughs> well, they haven't had any serious bad issues since 2019. So the life has been easier for a while. But the thing is, they never know when the next drug war starts, right? Yeah. And then we saw this guy passing as a young guy with a gun. With stickers on. What is your name? Gelso. Gelso. Gelso Poneiro. Gelso for um Quanto anos vives aqui? Quanto quantos anos aqui? Sim. Uns 40 anos mais ou menos. 40? Isso aqui tudo é meu. Ah, tudo é. Ah, a sua casa? Tudo. Muito bom, muito bom. Valeu. Você é Bananas uh, frescas. É, fresquinha, novinha. So it's uh, time to say goodbye to Vidigal. And. Vidigal? Um, Chama um taxi. Chama agora um taxi. That's the kind of service we get here. Quer taxi Vidigal? Caralho, cinco minutos a foto aparece. Obrigado. Valeu, irmão. Tamo junto. Yes, Até a próxima. Muito obrigada, <laughs> Aí, ó. We started on the top of the two brothers and now we are back in Ipanema. It has been wonderful to see how this community functions and how many normal hardworking people live in there. Yeah. Instead of the idea of everyone is gangsters or gang members, it's really not like that. And most people just try to make a living every day. But thank you guys for watching. Obrigada por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Até próximo. Ciao. Ciao. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things. And no good thing ever dies. <laughs>